Something we all experience yet no one can truly define is time. Is it a thing like a star or a planet, a tangible entity existing out there in the cosmos? Or is it just an illusion, a trick of our minds, a mental construct we use to make sense of change? And here's a question that might keep you up at night. Did time have a beginning? And could it ever end? This question launches us into a mystery as profound as the cosmos itself, a journey that stretches from the moment of the Big Bang to the very edges of human understanding, where the answers are as elusive as they are thrilling. Picture this, 13.8 billion years ago, the universe bursts into existence from a hot, dense point smaller than an atom. In a moment of unimaginable energy and transformation, it explodes outward, creating space, matter, energy, and somehow, time. Cosmologists call this event the Big Bang. But what isn't often emphasized in school is that this wasn't just the birth of stars, galaxies, and planets. It was the moment when time itself seemed to switch on. Before that? Well, that's where things get strange. Ask a physicist what came before the Big Bang and you'll often get a shrug, a nervous smile, or a cryptic answer like, we don't know, but maybe the question itself doesn't even make sense. It's not just that we don't have the data. It's that the very concept of before might not apply at all if time itself began with the Big Bang. Without time, there was no before for anything to happen in. Try wrapping your head around that. It's like trying to imagine the edge of infinity, a boundary that defines the start of everything, and yet defies the logic we live by. What is time in our current universe? So what is time now, in our everyday lives, in the context of the modern universe? You might picture it as a straight line, a relentless march forward. Breakfast, work, dinner, sleep, repeat. But science has revealed that time is far stranger than this simple human perception. Thanks to Albert Einstein, we now know that time is part of a larger entity called space-time, a fabric that weaves together both space and time into one continuous framework. This fabric isn't fixed and rigid. Instead, it bends, stretches, and warps in the presence of mass and motion. Have you heard of time dilation? It's one of Einstein's most fascinating predictions, and it's been experimentally confirmed. If you were to travel through space at nearly the speed of light, time would slow down for you relative to someone back on Earth. You could embark on what felt like a one-year journey and return to find that decades had passed here at home. This is no science fiction fantasy. It's been verified using atomic clocks placed on fast-moving airplanes and satellites. Time, it turns out, is flexible, more like a rubber band than a ruler. Could time break, stop, or reverse? And if time can bend, could it break? Could it ever stop? Could it even reverse? To explore these questions, we must go back to the early universe, just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. At that moment, the cosmos was a seething soup of particles hotter than a trillion suns. As it expanded, it cooled, and time appeared to march forward, or at least, that's what we believe. But some physicists question whether time always flows in the same direction. There's a concept called the arrow of time, which says time moves forward because of entropy, the universe's tendency to evolve from order to chaos. A broken glass doesn't reassemble itself, that's entropy at work. This process gives time its one-way street. But what happens if the universe reaches a state of maximum entropy? Could the arrow of time fade, or even flip? It's a mind-bending possibility that forces us to rethink everything we believe about time's flow. Is time the same everywhere? Let's take this even further. Is time the same everywhere? Remarkably, the answer is no. Consider black holes, those mysterious monsters of gravity where the known laws of physics begin to unravel. Near the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape, time behaves in ways that defy our intuition. If you were to fall toward a black hole, hypothetically, of course, time would slow down for you relative to a distant observer. To someone watching from afar, you'd seem to freeze at the edge of the black hole, suspended in time. But from your point of view, Everything would feel normal, until you crossed the event horizon and plunged into the unknown. Inside lies the singularity, a point where density becomes infinite and our understanding of space and time ceases to function. Some theorists suggest that time might end there, or morph into something we can't even conceptualize. In this way, black holes are like cosmic cul-de-sacs, where time itself hits a wall. Could time end everywhere? But what about the universe as a whole? Could time end? not just locally in a black hole, but everywhere? To answer this, we must look ahead into the future of the cosmos. Scientists have outlined a few possible scenarios for how the universe might end, each with dramatic implications for time. One possibility is the Big Freeze. 
In this scenario, the universe continues to expand, driven by the mysterious force known as dark energy. As galaxies drift farther apart, stars burn out, and everything gradually cools to near absolute zero. Trillions of years from now, we could be left with a cold, dark, and silent cosmos. If nothing changes, does time still have meaning? Some physicists argue that in such a lifeless universe, time would become irrelevant, a ticking clock in an empty room, marking a rhythm no one hears. Another scenario is the Big Crunch, a less likely but still captivating possibility. If the expansion of a universe eventually halts and reverses, everything could collapse back into a dense point, a mirror image of the Big Bang. In this dramatic implosion, time as we understand it might come to an end. But here's the twist. Some theorists believe a Big Crunch could trigger a new Big Bang, launching a new universe with a brand new timeline. In this cyclical model, time would not be a line but a loop, endlessly repeating birth, expansion, collapse, rebirth. This breathtaking idea suggests our universe might be just one of countless cycles, each with its own beginning and end. Time in the multiverse. But what if time isn't even universal? What if our concept of time applies only to our universe, and doesn't hold in others? This brings us to the multiverse theory, a radical but increasingly considered idea in modern physics. Imagine our universe as a single bubble in a vast cosmic foam. Each bubble is a universe with its own physical laws, including its own version of time. In some of these universes, time might flow backward. In others, it might loop or branch like a tree. This idea arises from theories of eternal inflation, which suggest the universe underwent a rapid expansion in its earliest moments. And in some regions, this inflation never stopped, giving rise to countless new universes. If true, then time as we know it is just one version among an infinite menu of cosmic timelines. Can you imagine a universe where time doesn't exist at all? It's a concept that stretches the limits of human imagination. The Hubble tension and the Big Rip. In fact, even our current understanding of time is being challenged. In 2023, astronomers noticed something strange. The expansion of the universe seems to be accelerating faster than expected. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, suggests our current models of the universe, and perhaps time itself, might be incomplete. Could dark energy, the force driving this acceleration, hold the key? Some scientists believe dark energy may evolve over time, altering the very structure of space-time. If it continues to grow in strength, it could eventually lead to a scenario called the Big Rip, where the universe is literally torn apart. Galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms would be shredded as space-time unravels. In such an ending, time wouldn't fade into irrelevance, it would violently tear itself apart. Time and human perception. Beyond physics, time is also deeply personal. We experience it through memories, milestones, and moments that define who we are. Yet science tells us that time is indifferent, objective, and universal, at least on the surface. Still, some physicists, like Carlo Rovelli, propose that time might be tied to consciousness, that it emerges from the way we perceive change. Without observers, would time even exist? This question blurs the boundary between physics and philosophy, suggesting that time might be as much in our minds as it is in the stars. Imagine a universe with no one in it. Would time still tick? Time travel, the dream that won't die. And, of course, there's the tantalizing dream of time travel. Who hasn't imagined leaping into the past or peeking into the distant future? Einstein's theories don't forbid it. Traveling close to the speed of light, or passing through a wormhole, could allow someone to move forward in time. Going backward is far more complicated. It would require exotic forms of matter and energy we haven't yet discovered. Even if backward time travel were possible, it raises paradoxes like the infamous grandfather paradox. What happens if you go back in time and prevent your own birth? Such conundrums hint that time might have built-in protections, rules were not allowed to break. Still, the fact that physics doesn't completely shut the